there are four different types of fan speed regulators available in the market resistive inductive capacitive and track based the resistive and inductive regulators are becoming obsolete while the capacitive and track based regulators are gaining popularity due to their compact size low cost and reduce heat dissipation in this video we will take a look at how their circuits are designed and how they work so please stick around until the end of the video let's get started the speed regulators are usually connected in series to the load let's talk about the resistive regulator first the resistive regulator employ a multi tap wire wound resistor when the resistor switch is set to the position 1 the fan gets connected directly to the main power source and run at its full speed when we set the switch to the next positions the fan speed decreases due to the increase in resistance value now let's discuss the inductive regulators the inductive type fan regulator has a tapping on its coil winding while it looks like a transformer it is actually an inductor because it has one sided winding only the inductor acts as a resistor for an ac circuit and the value of the inductive reactance is xl is equal to 2 pi fl where f is the line frequency and l is the inductance here voltage drop would be current multiplied by the inductive reactance value so you can totally understand that it works just like resistive regulators the speed goes down as the inductance value goes up the capacitive regulator circuit may look different but actually it functions same as the resistive and inductive regulators we can see here lower capacitance value will offer more resistance and will result slower speed generally capacitive regulators utilizes two polyester capacitors along with a specially designed rotary switch to manage their connections these two high value resistors are used to discharge the capacitors when not in use and these other two resistors are low value fusible resistor used to protect the circuit as well as to limit the current when the switch is at position 1 the current flows through the capacitor c1 only when the switch is at position 2 the current flows through the capacitor c2 only but when we move the switch to the position 3 the terminals 2 and 3 gets internally short circuited causing capacitors c1 and c2 to become parallel result an effective capacitance of c1 and c2 when we move the switch to the position 4 there is no resistance bar and so the fan runs at its full speed now let's talk about the phase angle control type regulators they work a bit differently compared to the regulators we have discussed so far they basically alters the firing angle of the track in order to change the voltage across the fan a firing angle is a point at which the track starts conducting electricity they use active components like diodes and triacs in this type of regulator the triac remains off for a specific duration and then becomes on for another specific duration this causes the reduced voltage across the fan and hence speed reduces the rc network and diac in the circuit helps triac to perform this operation the diac only starts conducting when it reaches a certain voltage level called breakover voltage which is 32 volt for the dv3 diac this capacitors start charging through this resistor network when the capacitor voltage crosses 32 volt the diac sends a gate pulse to the triac to switch it on the triac keeps conducting until its current drops below a certain limit known as holding current the same process repeats for the negative half cycle as the component of this circuit functions same in both directions varying this resistor value alters the capacitor charging time and consequently the fan speed changes due to the change in triac's fire angle Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new from this video and please don't forget to subscribe as more interesting content will be coming your way soon. See you.